second channel hey hey what's up guys welcome back to my second channel as you can tell by the title i'm back i'm here with the beauty chats that i plan on having so normally the way that the beauty chats will go is that it will usually be me by myself mainly because i really just don't like depending on other people and try to start stuff with them because then you got schedules blah, 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 blah. So with the beauty chats, it's pretty much going to be me and I will pretty much be talking about different topics that everybody asks me about. I'll be talking about different subjects, different things like that, kind of to give you a gist of what to expect kind of when you're on this channel and kind of when you see the beauty as um, the beauty chats that I will be doing. So normally I had recorded a video, you know, while I was doing my makeup so that way you guys are more personal with me and it's kind of like multitasking at the same time. But I end up doing my face. My phone ended up dying. And I'm like, hmm, do I wait? And then it was like a no. Because I hate the lighting in my bathroom. The natural light is up. And I'm not trying to make no excuses in 2020 of why I did not finally shoot the beauty chat video. Because I don't even know if y'all gonna like it or not. And I just need to finally get it out of there. I recorded another video with my friend Naya. As y'all have seen that um, I've been with her a lot recently. And um, it was really good. Like, I don't know. I just don't know if you guys would want that. The lighting was kind of off. I wasn't a big fan of it. And so, uh, I don't know. So, um, I'm definitely going to, if you guys want to see that video, I'm definitely going to go ahead and give you guys that one. Just to get it out of there. Because I think what's stopping me right now is, like, my fear of, like, everything. But right now, I pretty much want to give you guys, like, um, this, this topic goes from everything from skincare hair care everything that you want to know will be on this channel but the thing about this channel is that i am not a professional i don't have a passion in any of these things i'm just a girl who's curious who wants to look cute who wants to feel good and i like how other women have carried themselves and everything but i don't want to be one of the people where you come to my channel and you're like how did she get to be so positive and so confident and da, 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 da. i kind of want to share those with you because i wish somebody was open to share with me versus running around the bush and everything like that this one is going to be about forgiveness and the reason i'm saying forgiveness and i'm not gonna go like oh back to topics that i already discussed on my main channel anything you want to know about everything that's been going on is on my main channel i am just airy but this one is about forgiveness in a total of a whole you know what i'm saying for me let me use a personal experience i had to recently and I, actually not recently for for about the first year or two in Daniel's life, I didn't forgive Daniel's father for kind of just leaving us. You know what I'm saying? Especially since it was talked about. And, you know, there was tears crying from him, from me. And it was just like a, I kind of predicted this. And it was like a, no, I'm not like that. I didn't have my dad in my life, yada, yada, yada. And it's kind of like, okay, look at us now. We're Daniel's about to be five and he's not active. But I had to take a step back and I had to realize that, like, my dad wasn't in my life when I was growing up, you know what I'm saying? And my mom, my mom met somebody who treated all of us as if we were his own. And that's why I call him my dad now, you know what I'm saying? Versus my biological father I haven't seen since I was maybe 13. And before I was 13, I haven't seen him before then for a long time. And not to go into detail or anything, because that's like for another story time about me and him. But this one is mainly like to forgive somebody. You have to, you have to, you have to be okay not to be okay. And I feel like nobody can tell you when to forgive somebody. I had a lot of people in my life telling me, you know, forgive this person now. Da, 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 da. I wouldn't do that. You should do this. And I'm like... But if I would have did it, it would have made things worse versus me being authentic with myself and being real with myself. No, I'm not ready to forgive that person because I'm going to hurt their feelings. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to want revenge and that's not how I want to move. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, a few years back, maybe when Daniel was two, I had to like really just forgive Daniel's dad for just being like not in his life. And I had to open my eyes and be like, yo, you got to step it up. You know, that's why it's kind of important to make sure the people you have around you um serve some type of purpose you know what i'm saying i want my son to be about around male influencers so that way it's like a, hey my mom it was just me and my mom but my mom made sure that i was in gymnastics i was in parkour i put you know what i'm saying i want him in all these different things because you know what i'm saying with a male figure sometimes you know what i'm saying it comes in different ways sometimes in he made me a, meet a woman you know what i'm saying whose husband may want to you know but you also have to be cautious because the world is crazy and so i feel like with forgiveness it's something that starts within and i feel like it's something that takes time you cannot just wake up and forgive somebody you can 
You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. You can forgive people, but you also have to have time to forgive and forget. You know what I'm saying? And then it, also with that, I just don't feel like people should forget either because people show you their true colors. And sometimes when people do something one time, they'll do it again. But next time you can be prepared or next time you can go ahead and stop it. You know? So another quick example is like with me and my friendship with Vanessa. You know what I'm saying? I had to take a step back and go, hmm, if I'm you, if I'm me, how would I look at the situation? One, if I'm your boyfriend or I'm my boyfriend or if I'm this person and if I'm that person, you guys are together a lot. Okay. For us, we're like, we want to be together all day, every day. But with having a family and other people, it can make other people feel some type of way and be like, you're always over there. That's annoying. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And they may not say that, but I have to be observant. And so that's why I had, you know, put Vanessa to the side and I said, hey, you know what I'm saying? Like. I know we hanging out a lot and everything like that, but I just kind of want it to be where like a, I want it to be a nice balance. So make sure you get your family days in, you know what I'm saying? Kiss your man, make him feel good, whatever you got to do. So when you come over here, you don't got to worry about, well, you know what I'm saying? And she's like, oh yeah, I understand. Yep. Okay. It hasn't been a problem yet. I said, it's not a problem yet. I said, but we have to be observant with the whole situation. And I know that has nothing to do with forgiveness, but what I'm saying is that when you're trying to move on, you have to, there's two choices. You can either walk around being bitter or you can walk around and you can boss up and take control of the whole entire situation. Now you cannot control unlikely events. You can't control everybody's emotions, how somebody may respond, but you can control how you respond. And my biggest thing is that with forgiveness, you have to find out, is this person worth forgiving? And when I say that, everybody is worth forgiving, but is this person worth forgiving right now in this time of my life? Do I need that right now in my life? And sometimes I feel like it's not wrong to put yourself first and then take care of the other things because life has a way of working itself out. And quick example again with the old group, not to mention them no more and not like that, but... If I would have forgave them right after, we would have fell out again because, ooh, I still feel the same way. Versus a year or two and all the stuff that happened, everything that can be said, everything angry, everything that you were feeling some type of way, everything that was supposed to stop and didn't stop, everything that was supposed to go and didn't go, everything was supposed to be done, it's out the way. And so now I can go back in like a, hi, I forgive you. I'm not angry because I'm not angry. And that took a lot of maturity for me. But the thing about it is that versus if I never sit in a room with them again, versus if we never talk and text all day, I know that now I can go in a room with them and it's not going to be an issue. I know that now that nobody in the world is going to sleep like, tuh, every feels the type of way about me or... I wonder if Aries feels some way. Nobody's going to do that. And I'm not. I can peacefully go watch a video. I can peacefully. Oh, who? Yeah, I know them. Yeah. Yeah, I wish them the best. You know what I'm saying? And not have this angerness and bitterness inside of me. And I feel like forgiveness is a big part in a lot of situations that we have in life. Because now I don't hold any judgment against my father knowing that he had like a very hard background. And he just didn't know how to be a father you know what i'm saying he has three kids um i have two older brothers and i actually don't even talk to my brothers at all um i talk to one of my brothers cj sometimes and my other brother i don't even know if he thinks even knows that i exist and i feel like i can't control my father i don't know where he is i think he might be in chicago i really don't know but what i can control is like the I can't control is my relationship with my siblings. I do know their names. So, you know, I can reach out and create an own bond, not just for myself, but for my family. You know what I'm saying? Why do I have siblings who don't know who I am? And why do I have my son not having people? You know, why am I taking that anger and frustration on him? Oh, just because he was in y'all life out on my son who can have um, two more uncles that he didn't know that he had compared to the three that he has now with my brothers being the oldest of eight. So I feel like forgiveness is a big part. I feel like you have to be okay to let these things out. I feel like journaling is important. I feel like venting is important. Even if you're annoying, you know what I'm saying? Be cautious who you're telling your business to because you never know. But, you know, there's a way to have a conversation with somebody and, you know what I'm saying, not be not be worried that it's gonna come back you know one thing my mom taught me that i love to this day that i tell everybody is that i never say anything that i don't mind to hear back anything anything you heard about me i do not mind tell me what i said yeah and i said that because of this and i told you that oh yeah you're right i forgot about that yeah next you know what i'm saying nobody can say and if somebody does say something that i do mind hearing back 
it's a lie because I don't say anything I don't mind hearing back and so one of the key points of and I'm just gonna do each series and episode different you know what I'm saying different story times because I want to share my experience my process and stuff I I just feel like we're going forward forgiveness is a key part in your happiness like forgiveness and it's not for them like it's a bonus but it's for you and I'm talking so much with my hands because I got my nails done so I had had to do this but you see what I'm saying it's not for them it's for you and oh she got some lotion in here okay Dana she got all the cool stuff period but it's not for okay probably should have smelled the first but it's not for them it's for you you have to be okay to forgive and forgiveness is something that does not happen overnight for me you know what i'm saying it happens over time it goes with maturity it comes with age it comes with growth it comes with you know re-humbling yourself sometimes you have to lose everything to be like okay you know and sometimes you have to think about how it would affect other people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had to put my pride aside because why does my son or why does my family have to miss out on trips to go somewhere because I'm upset about what somebody did to me in sixth grade? Oh, well, she was mean to me. And, like, so we just never talked again. I don't really want to talk to her now because then I'm... But then I'm mad because at my wedding, who am I going to invite? My husband? In my eight siblings? And I'm not saying, like, oh, I'm doing this for friends. I'm doing this because... I like to sleep good at night. I like to walk around. I like how my friends either work at Akira. I like how my friends either live downstairs from me. I like how they live with their husbands and boyfriends or whatever down the street. I like where I'm at in life. And I feel like if I want to keep this, I have to do things different. I have to move different. And I feel like where I didn't move at before, at first, if somebody do something. All right. Cool. <laughs> I'm going to remember that. I got you. You in the book of people I don't mess with in there. You're in there. Do you want to be in there? No. Now I'm like, oh, that don't exist because that was energy that I could have used. This is my okay sign that my check just clear. Okay. 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 That's what I'm saying okay to. Any negativity, any positive, any anything negative or overthinking or stressful, I don't want it. Um, hello, ma'am. Um, yeah, we're calling because uh, two seven eight five 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 four four three eight two eight nine. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, we found out that your booty's fake. Oh my god. Okay. Do y'all want it back? Otherwise, send me my check. Okay. That you know what I'm saying? It's just like a move on. Let it go. Drop it back. Drop it back there. And don't look back. And if you are gonna look back, look back and go. Do you got any help? Sure. Because you good. Okay, and some people, some people, if they cross the line now, or I understand, but you don't have to have hate in your heart. I don't you don't have to have hate in your heart. You can move forward. You can forgive them. You can you can you can move better. You can move smarter. You can move not off of emotion. You can do these things. You just have to want it and have to apply yourself. You know what I'm saying? And it's okay because I had to ask myself for forgiveness because I was stopping a lot of stuff that I wanted in my life. You know what I'm saying? I was torturing torturing myself versus with relationships from friends, family, co-workers, everything. I was messing a lot of that stuff up. And I have to understand that at one point in people's life, I became the toxic one because I was at war and I had all this toxic, toxicity with myself. And that's because I was holding all these grudges against people versus... I sleep so good. You know what I'm saying? I sleep so good. I sip my wine. I do my thing. I go on TikTok. I go on Facebook. I don't have a new book on Wattpad. So if y'all know any that's good, nice, and ghetto, and not typical, you know what I'm saying? Hit me with it. And complete it. Complete it. And if it has a sequel, the sequel got to be completed too. Because once I finish the book, I need to know what's going on in the next one. Okay? Period. And, um, yeah, I just... I And it has to be grown as well. I don't want no little kitty stuff. But... 
that's my whole thing, y'all. This whole thing is about forgiveness. I hope I help somebody out there to reevaluate things in your life. Do not make decisions because of other people. You know what I'm saying? You are a role model, and there are people looking at you, even if you think, like, how are people looking up at me, and I'm not even where I want to be? But people are looking up at to you, and so it, I feel like as you get older, give out the information that you know. You know what I'm saying? Stop being stingy. It's it's our generation and the generations under us that's watching us that it's like a you meet a girl she's trying to start a business give her a shout out you know what i'm saying who who does it help her now if she try to switch up on you because she now got 3k and she came to you with 200 fine that's on her she lost a good friend dang i was trying to get her to 300k you know what i'm saying she cut off her blessings but i still did my good deed i still moved how i would want somebody to treat me or my family and i slept peaceful at night and you know what I'm saying? And what goes around comes around if it's not to you or somebody else, if it's not now or it's not later. Remember this moment, okay? Put yourself first and forgive yourself. After you forgive yourself, go down the line and forgive those people. Now, you don't have to go back to your auntie house that punched you in the face and kicked you out. But you can forgive her because she got to live with that. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to go hang out with that girl that punched you in your face and stole your man. And they still together and they want you to come to the wedding. Now, you can go with your new man, you know what I'm saying? But that's one of my petty series. So, if y'all want to hear about my petty stuff, y'all want to hear some petty, y'all want some petty tips, call me, okay? Okay? <laughs> but, yes, um, this whole thing is about forgiveness. I hope I taught y'all something, learned something, or if not, thank y'all just for listening to me because sometimes I just be needed to get stuff off my chest so that way I can process and mature and grow, you know? Um... I love everybody that's continued to support me. Thank y'all so much for just loving me and just being there for me because, oh my gosh, I didn't put y'all through it, haven't I? I have put y'all through it from from sipping, shipping ships to sending shade to unfollowing and blocking to going missing, not consistent to gaining weight, losing weight, renegade, all of that. <laughs> I can't stop. Look at my head. Look at my head. I can't stop. But I love you guys. Hit that thumbs up button, comment down below. Team area all day, every day. If you didn't know, now you know. Based on top of little things, stop it. Once again, please send me content titles. Um, not titles. Please send me content ideas and um, stories that you want me to read. Advice that you guys want. Um, anything like about you guys. Like y'all want to send me like a little scenario. You know, send me some letters and you know what I'm saying. DM me y'all whole scenario and I will run it down. Give y'all my personal opinion. Tell y'all some stories about me that y'all have not known. You know what I'm saying. A lot of people be like, Area, it's so much I don't know about you. You, my mom said that. That's for a reason, mom. That's for a reason. You raise a great daughter, but uh. Y'all have a life, you know? But <laughs> I'm not going to get into that right now. So comment down below different story times, different things, advice, everything that y'all want to see on this channel. Please be advised that for this channel and my main channel, give me content ideas that can be with me. And based off of other people's schedule and availability, I will try to include them with it. But please don't give me like, you and Vanessa, you and Trey, you da da da. It's not no beef or anything like that, but it just it just makes it easier for me to look at a video like they want me to do this. They're going to be okay just to see me. And if that person's shooting 10 videos with another person or that person is family day and that person is busy or this girl lives in Mexico or something or that day I was busy, I don't want to be like, dang, I didn't drop a video because they want to see this video on this person and oh my God. I'm just not going to draw nothing because I can't think of nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to come up with content that you guys want. So I try to give you guys the content that you guys want. But you guys also have to communicate with me. And I have to communicate with you guys that the, the people that you guys want videos to aren't as accessible as I would like. So if I do see this person, it's like 7 o'clock. It's late. Lights is, you know what I'm saying? Lights ain't, lighting ain't right. Energy may be right or be wrong or, you know what I'm saying? People just want to chill. So just send me content ideas for me and I will let you guys know. And when you guys see, you will see that, you know, if people are available and accessible from different ranges and not just those two people, just everybody in general, if they're available and they're down for it, then they're going to be done. But I love you guys when I be here without you and I'm out. Peace.